Here we are in the Egret Tours Marina. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. I'm in the process of patching it up for an efficiency settlement build that I'm working on, and I just remembered that many of you have been leaving comments asking me for tutorial videos on how to patch your own structures. So I figured I would take the opportunity to kind of hop on here and show you what I do it, what I do while I do it. I'll try to make this as short as possible, but as you can see, I've already repaired the interior wall here in this structure and the roof, and I've now moved on to this boathouse. And I'm thinking that I'll turn this boathouse into sort of a loft for settlers. And so you come up here to the stairs and you see that there's this sort of great walkway on the side here. And I figure, well, why not flesh this thing whole, this whole thing out to make a little bit of a loft? And so I've already started working on this section right here. And uh, you're welcome to join me. And together we can finish this loft in the boathouse at the Egret Tours Marina. So let's go into our floors. And by the way, I'm, I'm channeling my inner Bob Ross right now. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have to forgive me because I'm probably gonna be sitting there going, happy little trees, happy little trees, the entire time. And I can't help it. But uh, it looks like most of these are snapping. So let's snap that in there. And that's looking, <laughs> see, it's, I can't, I just start talking. And it's not like, I sound like Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Anyone can do this. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm getting distracted. All right, so um, so uh, where, where, where am I? Here we go. Uh, uh, all right, so this snapped right in there. That's great. And so this one should be able to snap in there, and it's not. So that's a problem. Now, many of you have been using the precise, I'm sorry, many of you have been using the uh, place anywhere mod and I don't use that mod because I actually like knowing where I can and can't place some things uh, for lore reasons and just for for my own uh, build reasons so that I can place things in areas where at least many players on consoles should be able to place them so let's find a way to fill this gap All right, that's red. All right, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this, since it's already placed, and simply move it. So I'm gonna, gonna be using the precise movement and rotating tool to push this over into this gap over here. So you open up the console and you select it until the numbers show in the middle of the screen. Then you use the precise movement and rotation tool to just manually push it over unit by unit. And the nice thing about this particular settlement, the Egret Tours Marina, is uh, objects are aligned pretty closely on the X and Y axis. Now let's reduce the number of units that we're moving, and bingo, look at that. We've filled the gap, and then we should just be able to plop this down right there, and look at that. Now, um, I don't understand Bethesda's logic. I don't understand why they make some areas snappable and why they don't. And honestly, they probably haven't even thought it out themselves. They probably don't understand how it works either. It's just an, uh, an interesting quirk whoa, of the engine. Um, now, we're stuck with this area, and this is going to be a bit tricky. So, this settlement came with these really narrow catwalks but the barn floor textures with Wasteland Workshop come with these wider catwalks. So that's why there's a bit of a gap right there. Now, typically in situations like this, I would place it down over it and I would find a way to like push that through the wall or something, but this wall is so thin that it would get in the way. So what we're actually gonna have to do is set that over it so that there's going to be double double the trouble here and this is going to be a bit of an issue yeah oh, come on well looks like we're back to strategy numero uno so this is one that i set down earlier let's make sure that we're moving it by five units instead of one you can see a mod position x minus five now we're moving to x minus one and when you're using the tool, simply press the numlock key. 
and that will toggle whether you're using five, uh, moving at five by five units or by one unit. Okay, so then now let's select this one. No. Nope. <clears throat> nope, that one's too. There we go. Okay, um, so how are we going to do this? Well, we may just need to do it this way. All right, so let's push this one up. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of patience. Let's make sure that this corner is to the, whoops. There we go, are those corners meeting? Yes, so now we can put that back to five and push it over. Go. Oh. I've got a little bit of an overlap there, so let's move that. Whoops. Uh, yeah, there we go. Looking good. All right, so we've got this giant gap to fill. So let's put down another one of these. And then let's move it over here. Move it to one pixel, or not pixel, but one unit. That's a good seam. And then we can finally fill it in with that. Aha, we now have a completely repaired floor. Uh, looking good. So let's repair this wall over here. You see how there are huge holes in the windows right there? Uh, let's go ahead and repair the wall a little bit. And I've already repaired this one, as you can see, and I didn't actually have to use my precise movement and rotation mod to do it. It just snapped right in there. So hopefully we'll, be, we'll get really lucky here and we won't have to use our movement tool. So let's And we're not lucky. Luck is not on our side. We're all out of luck. What's that? Ooh, well, there's a little bit of luck. Sweet, so it snaps right there, which means that we can simply select it, rotate it. By the way, you use the forward slash and asterisk uh, keys on your number pad to rotate it, then now we gotta make sure that it's even, and then bring it in. Ah! Now look at that. Look at that piece of beauty. Yeah, it is clipping with the window a little bit, but not much you can do there when you're trying to fill it in. Huh. Well, the reason we did this is because we want to move it over there anyway. So let's um, push it over here. There we go. And now that wall is filled. Now, do I want to fix this wall? I mean, yes, the window is broken. But it is supposed to be a window, and it's not leading to the outside, so it's not like the elements are coming in. God only knows what might be you gotta kinda just take it on a case-by-case -case basis. Sometimes you do wanna fix things, because otherwise it would just be open to the elements, like this, holy cow. And then other times you want to leave them because they add a little bit of character. And it's just a personal choice. <laughs> Again, challenging my inner Bob Ross. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, just pull out the palette and pull out your brush and do what you want to do. This is your landscape. These are your trees. Make them the way you want them to be. There we go. <laughs> I 
Alright, why is that there? Uh, probably shouldn't be able to see the door frame through there, or the window frame through there, but then that juts out a bit. Uh, is that acceptable? Do I like that? stumble into a crime scene. Nick, you are just the talkative guy. The most talkative guy today. You need to calm down, buddy. Well, let's take a look at the inside to see if we like that. All right, yeah. Okay. I can I can see that. All right, what else do we need to do? Hmm. Gosh. These windows are just so nasty. But then again, even the windows that come... Ooh, look at that! Ah, luck of the draw there. Ha 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 Didn't have to use our mod or anything. And look at that! Another one snaps. This is gonna snap. Now the reason it's snapping, ladies and gentlemen, is because we placed this floor first. And uh, it's not snapping to the outside, it's snapping to the outside rim of this floor. And uh, I didn't even think about that I was putting as I was putting the floor down. But that's just uh, an added benefit. So let's head on outside and take a look to see if we like the way it looks. Ah. I mean, it is fitting in with the style of this building. Take a look at the building. This is just a shack building. It's not sexy. It's not, it's not got these great barn textures or anything like that. It's not a beautiful, dilapidated brick building like that one. It's just a shack. And, uh, you know, we want to keep in with the feel of this marina, so... That is suitable. Now, there is this crumbling door over here. Which, of course, you can't scrap. Let's take a look at this trash doodad. How can we get rid of that? Can we select it? No, nope, but we can select the door. Interesting. We can select the door. Hmm. I might be able to fill that in. I really want to get rid of this trash pile, please. No, I can't get rid of it. Now, there is a mod on the Nexus called Spring Cleaning. I am familiar with it, and it does things like remove big know. piles of trash. Been a bit about the but, uh... You know what? I've already got so many crafting mods installed <clears throat> that I don't want to clutter up my, uh, my interface with more unless it's necessary. All right, so we've got this door, and it's a dilapidated door. But I wonder... Can we fix it? I'm using seven and one on the number pad, and nine and three to twist it up. And then you use star and forward slash. Ooh, no, not quite. All right, it's actually in the door jam. You see that? In the door frame. Let's go up. Bingo. That, I think, did it. We now have a fixed door. Won't be able to use it or anything, of course, but at least it's not falling out. Great. One step closer, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, audio engineers for Lord of the Rings had a huge mon monumental task ahead of them, and I remember watching the documentaries, and the way they got by it is they just encouraged each other. They said, chip, chip, chip away, chip away, that's all you gotta do. Chip, chip, chip away, and eventually you'll get it done. Roof. Oh God, I hate doing roofs. Let's take a look at this roof and see what we need to do. All right, so hold on, this is the outside. I don't need this anymore. Oh wait, I can't scrap that. I didn't put that there. That came with a settlement, okay. Um, let's move this. Like that. There 
There we go. It's a little better. Okay. So there's a giant gaping hole in the roof there. There's a giant gaping hole in the roof there. A little gaping hole. Lots of gaping holes. Oh, big gaping holes everywhere. Oh, all right. Well, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to do this once. Oh, man, really? By the way, I wouldn't be able to do this without jetpack. The jetpack is what gives it, it. Ah, I did it again. It's what uh, makes this all possible. Okay, let's start over here. I'm going to experiment with a couple of different ways of doing this. Now, if we're lucky, then the gabled roof that comes with the barn texture will be at exactly the right angle. But I doubt we're going to be that lucky. Let's see, what's the angle on that? Really? Ah! You know what? close. Look at that. It's close. We may get lucky here. Hmm. <laughs> I couldn't get these things if I aimed for them. And yet I, I'm accidentally falling through the roofs here. Well, let's see. All right. So... Gosh, that really is close. That is almost the right angle. All right, well, now we just need to find a way to place them. And we can't just put it on. There we go. Now, um, it's true, the precise movement and rotation, I'm sorry, the uh, Place Anywhere mod would have made this easier. But like I told you just a moment ago, I am trying to use as few mods as possible for my set settlement building just because it really crowds your, work your workshop inventory. So if you have a bunch of settlement building mods installed that give you all sorts of new workshop doodads or that change the way that um, items can be used in, in, the, in the workshop, you eventually run out of room. And that's just the way that the game is built. The game is built to have a limit on how many things can work with the workshop. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be reducing incompatibilities in the future by reducing the number of settlement mods that I have installed. All right, now let's, we could be just um, completely wrong here. So let's take a look at this. All right, so we need to rotate it just a smidge, bring it down. Hmm. Bring it in up. Now this is really what's gonna tell us. Yeah, look at that. The angle is slightly off. Yeah, you see that? So the bottom of it is still embedded in the wooden roof, but the top of it is already out, and that is because <sighs> the angle is slightly off. But you know what? I may be able to make that work. Well, that's not nice. Let's push that inside and see where that gets us. Whoops, I did the wrong one. Here we go. Where's the radio coming from? Oh, it's coming from... Yeah, by the way, uh, this this is the way I used to do my player homes. I would find a... I would, I would find a settlement and um, 
just I wouldn't care. I would just build these crazy things. I didn't use any mods back when I used to build these. And this is my old player home. And so when I finish this uh, marina, I'm going to be getting rid of this. Ugh, come on. Now, I do need to turn off the radio because I'm filming. And you get into all these problems with YouTube royalties and legality and all of that. There we go. I turned off the radio. Hopefully, I'll still be able to monetize this video because I've been hearing it in the background all this time. Anyway. When you see my finished Egret Tours Marina, that will be gone. All right, let's see here. I love the free fall legs. They allow me to drop from any height. Okay, so let's see if we can get this to snap. Now that that's in place, the trick is to get at least one in place and then maybe you can get it to snap. No, it looks like these don't snap to other roofs. They only snap to walls. Let's see what happens if we raise this up. Oh, they don't snap to other roofs. That's just annoying. That is annoying and infuriating. I can't even get it to snap. Well. I mean, even if I were to be using the place anywhere mod, it doesn't snap anywhere, you know? Let's see. No, that's just going to be making more work for myself. All right, let's do this the old-fashioned way. There's one. Here comes number two. Whoops, and this one has a hole in it. Really? See, wait a minute, that snaps. Look at that. And that's hovering in the air. Why does that snap, but this doesn't? Do I just need to get it up in the air more? Right, there's po no possible collision. Oh, look at that beauty. <sighs> this is going to make it so much easier because I have that one in the right spot. Which means that all I'll have to do is push them down. <laughs> Sometimes it's just the little things. All right, then let us see the payoff of our efforts. So what I'll do is I'll count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, but since they're both created on the same plane, I shouldn't have to. Oh no! Imperfection! No! 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 <sighs> so, why did that happen? That happened because these are not the same length. Is this in the same spot? It is. Look at that. The crown of the roof is almost, almost in the same spot. Is it in the same spot? It is. Yeah, that crack, it goes right through. So 
Why is that? Why is that? And it does go to the edge. Yeah, look at that. It goes all the way to the edge. Well, wait a minute. These are on the exact same level. And yet this does not go through the roof. Well, this one does. That does not make any sense. All right, going up one solved it. Let's move to our... All right, well, let's just bring this up to even it out. And there we go. Let's see what that looks like on the inside. And you can't even tell, can you? It just looks like a repaired roof from the inside. See, the nice thing about this is once we're done, you won't be able to tell from the inside and you won't be able to tell from the outside. <clears throat> Gosh, I hate roofs. They're always nasty. But when they're done, it's a great payoff. All right, let's push this down, down, down. Down, 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 there we go. All the way down. Woo, 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 yeah. Okay, sweet, no further clipping. All right, look at that. So we've got this lip on the outside. Uh, and this is the problem when you try to repair structures that you can't actually build using the materials that come with the workbench. Like we don't have the materials to do brick, so that was a bearer. And then this has the wrong length. So even though these pieces fit together perfectly and I start right at the ledge here, this structure is longer than uh, the width of all of these pieces put together. So we've got this lip on the outside here, but you know what? Yes. You can't even tell from the road. You would only be able to tell by shooting on up here and taking a look. And you know, and, and another thing is that there are no holes in this section. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just not gonna worry about it. Oh, but I gotta worry about that. <clears throat> so, if the hole is large enough to fall through... <laughs> that's an issue. Well, we've got one done. And the reason we're doing this, ladies and gentlemen, is yes, we are professional, and we care, and all that jazz. But uh, the main reason we're doing this is because you get a happiness penalty if your settlers do not sleep in a roofed environment. So the happiness bonus for giving a settler a bed is 20. But if that bed is outside, they only get 10 of the 20 points. Bingo, look at that. <laughs> like a club. All right, we've got a few more here to do. There we are. <clears throat> Looking good and sitting pretty. It's not perfect. There, that's a little better. We could probably push that in a bit. All right, every hole in this roof is patched with the exception of this teeny tiny teensy little hole. Oh, it's gonna bug me. That's the problem. It's gonna bug me. I'm gonna every time I walk by this thing, it's gonna go. It's gonna be like a zit staring me in the face. Oxhorn, why didn't you fix me? You were right there and you didn't fix me. Why, Oxhorn, didn't you fix me? Oh, all right.
Now, I'm done. Officially. Every hole completely patched in this blasted structure. Ah! Okay, finally. Well, the roof at least is done. I, I still have to decide whether or not I want to patch the holes in the sides here. Yeah, I'm going to have to patch that one. And sometimes you'll get something that doesn't make any sense, like the ability to do this, but not to do this. Why? <laughs> it doesn't make a lick of sense. But that fits right in there. So then we can just select it. The problem with these particular wall um, tiles is that they're uneven. So as you go back, watch. You see how different pieces rise to the top? So what we'll do is we'll just patch the hole, leaving the original texture on the outside, and then it shouldn't be too conspicuous. Yeah, there it is. Ah, that's not too conspicuous. Great. Well, uh, I have a lot more work to do here at my Egret Tours Marina, but I figured I would take the opportunity to just record this quick little video showing you the process that I... Oh, look at this roof. Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot there's another roof. I'm going to have to do another roof. No. All right. Well, I'm going to step in. I'm, I'm going to end my recording anyway, just because uh, this is a natural time to to stop but there you go that is how i use the precise movement and rotation mod linked in the description of this video to fix floors fix walls and fix roofs in my settlement i uh, hope you learned something and maybe you can teach me something and share your thoughts in the comments of this video please subscribe for more fallout 4 and far harbor content and be sure to watch all of my efficiency settlement builds this is your neighborhood friendly oxhorn signing off Thanks for watching.